हेलो एवरी वन मैं नीमिज मनी से थी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सिंपल लीनियर रिग्रेशन मॉडल सिंपल लीनियर रिग्रेशन मॉडल एग्जाम इंस रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन वन डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड वन इनडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल सिंपल लीनियर रिग्रेशन मॉडल एग्जाम इंस रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन वन डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड वन इनडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल दैट मीन्स इट कैन प्रिडिक्ट वैल्यू ऑफ डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल बेस्ड ऑन गिवन वैल्यू ऑफ इनडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल फॉर एग्जाम्पल वाई इज फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स हेयर वाई इज डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एक्स इज इनडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल दैट मीन्स वाई डिपेंड ऑन एक्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू वॉन्ट टू स्टडी अबाउट रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन स्टूडेंट आवर्स ऑफ स्टडी एंड देयर मार्क्स इन एग्जाम ऑब्वियसली स्टूडेंट मार्क्स डिपेंड ऑन हाउ मच टाइम दे स्पेंड ऑन स्टडी दैट्स वाई स्टूडेंट स्टडी आवर्स आर इनडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड देयर मार्क्स इन एग्जाम आर डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल बिकॉज देयर मार्क्स इन एग्जाम डिपेंड ऑन हाउ मच टाइम दे स्पेंड ऑन स्टडी सो दिस इज अवर इनिशियल इक्वेशन वाई इक्वल टू एल्फा प्लस बीटा एक्स X is independent variable. Y is dependent variable. Alpha is intercept, which shows value of dependent variable when value of independent variable is zero. Alpha is intercept, which shows value of dependent variable when value of independent variable is zero. In this diagram, you can see on x axis we have independent variable, on y axis we have dependent variable. when value of independent variable is zero then value of dependent variable is okay that's why this okay part is equal to alpha because alpha is intercept which shows value of dependent variable when value of independent variable is zero and beta is slope of line which shows how much dependent variable will change in response to change in independent variable so here you can see positively is slope curve and this curve shows dependent variable will change this much in response to this much change in independent variable that's why this slope will be called beta because beta is a slope of line which shows rate at which dependent variable is changing with respect to independent variable now suppose dependent variable is a demand and independent variable is a price demand depend on price or you can say that price influence demand do you think price is only one factor that influence demand no there are uh, so many other factor which are also influence demand like income taste preference fashion etc but this model include only one independent variable that's why we add e in this equation e is error term and error term capture effect of other independent variable which are not include in this model please listen carefully in order to make this uh, model more relevant we add e e is error term error term capture effect of other independent variable which are not include in this uh, model now we'll see assumption of this model y is a linear function of x y is dependent variable x is independent variable y is a linear function of x that means the relationship between y and x are represented by a straight line graph here we have x variable here we have y variable and this straight line shows the relationship between y and x because y is a linear function of x error terms are random that means the value of error term is by chance it can be positive negative or even zero expected value of error term is assumed to be zero and expected value of error term means mean of error term so we can say the mean of error term is equal to zero next assumption homoelasticity homoelasticity means variance of error terms are constant homoelasticity means variance of error terms are constant that means error terms will not vary so much as value of predictor variable change 
and here we assume independent variable x is fixed but uh, dependent variable y can change for example you are supposed to record demand of every day with the same price demand is dependent variable which is uh, changing and price is independent variable which is constant Error terms belong to normal distribution. As we know, whenever anything belongs to normal distribution, their mean is zero and variance are constant. And, and as we earlier discussed, in case of error terms, mean is zero and variance are constant. Error terms are known autocorrelated. That means value of error terms in period one is not related to value of error terms in period two. Now suppose this is equation of population regression model and we have to estimate value of alpha and beta by using a sample data. Now suppose we have estimated value of alpha and beta by using sample data. This is our new equation y hat represent estimate value of y and alpha hat represent estimate value of alpha and the beta hat represent estimate value of beta x is an independent variable and it will remain constant as we earlier discussed and this is a estimated regression line now suppose y hat or we can say the estimate value of y lies here but original value of y lies here original means initial value this one lies here and this difference difference between expected uh, value and uh, original value will be called uh, error. This part will be called our error uh, terms or you can say the error uh, term is difference between estimate value and original value and our main goal to minimize this error in order to find accurate result of our research. So this is all about simple linear regression model. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.